Hello, everyone. My name is Tony Rost. I'm the CTO of Metal Toad, an AWS advanced consulting partner. Metal Toad is an end-to-end -end innovation partner for AWS solutions, from advanced cloud architectures to robust enterprise applications. You know, we aim to be far more than a tech innovation uh, vendor. We aim to be a trusted advisor and partner in strategic transformations. Uh, we spent decades in the media entertainment space, and we are thrilled to participate in today's events. Uh, in the next few minutes, we'll be talking about the AWS Media Insights Engine. Uh, I'll talk about the gaps that tend to block application developers from integrating AWS machine learning services into their products, and share how I evangelized AWS Media Insights Engine to application developers that are unsure of their capabilities. And hopefully your takeaway from today uh, is to be aware of CloudFormation templates, uh, the AWS Media Insights Engine, and to be inspired to try it out on your own. Uh, let's take a step back and look at the context. What is Amazon Machine Learning? Uh, Amazon Machine Learning is a broad and deep set of machine learning services uh, and supporting cloud infrastructure that puts machine learning into the hands of every developer and data scientist and expert practitioner. There's something for everyone in the AWS ecosystem. So starting from the bottom at the, the framework tier, you have the open, open source end-to-end -end deep learning frameworks for research, prototyping, and production models. So things like TensorFlow from Google and Gluon from AWS and Microsoft and MXNet from Apache, PyTorch from Facebook. Uh, moving up a level of abstraction, you have the platform services tier for SageMaker, which unifies all the components used for machine learning in a single tool set. You got DeepLens, a physical camera that has the Intel RealSense step sensor in it. You've got Spark and Elastic MapReduce for batch and streaming analytics. You have Mechanical Turk, uh, which is where you use things like SageMaker Ground Truth to recruit an army of human annotators to label your training data. But at the, the highest level of abstraction, and the tier that I am talking to you about today, you have the Application Services tier. Now, this tier is where I believe developers and even junior developers uh, can thrive and release great products. I spend a, a great deal of my time convincing product managers and development teams throughout the media entertainment industry uh, that they will be successful and that they do not need to fear their capability gaps. Uh, at this tier, you have pre-trained AI services that provide ready-made intelligence for your applications and workflows to help you improve business outcomes. And it's all based on the same technology used to power Amazon's own businesses. You do not need machine learning ex expertise at this level. Instead, you lean into recognition image and video for visual machine learning. And this is where I tend to focus uh, the most on in the media entertainment space. Uh, poly transcribe, poly turns text into speech, uh, transcribe speech into text. Lex, uh, one of my favorites, builds conversational bots with automatic uh, speech recognition and natural language understanding. Uh, you've got translate, comprehend, translate is for neural machine language translation, comprehend is for natural language processing. Now it's in this tier and in the media and entertainment industry in particular, I focus most of my consulting time on, uh, and inside this is the visual machine learning components. I, I consult with all groups from production to broadcast to marketing on how they can incorporate machine learning into their workflows. And the resistance I run into often is a perception that they need to bring in data scientists and then you spend months and quarters on R&D to achieve even inklings of results. <laughs> and more often than not, the application cloud developers are not even consulted 
on a lot of these projects. And that is a problem because application and cloud developers are exactly who these products are designed for. Developers tend to be really concerned and, and worried. You know, they don't know the difference between uh, neocognition, uh, YOLO, convolutional neural networks, RCNN, fast RCNN, faster RCNN, and they feel that they need to understand all these terms and be fully certified AWS architects uh, to even begin. This is, cannot be further from the truth. Uh, and this is where I think Media Insights Engine comes in. You see Media Insights Engine demos the entire portfolio of application services in the AWS machine learning ecosystem with the click of a button and in about 10 minutes. So here it is. Uh, this is the Vue.js based demo application. Uh, this is an end-to-end -end demo from login and user management with Cognito to a fully managed multi-region NoSQL database with DynamoDB uh, to a fully functional asset library indexed in the Elasticsearch service. Uh, all services have fully functional demos, uh, recognition video and image, comprehend, uh, translate, transcribe, it's all in there. And for those of you adopting AWS Elemental, it has a really viable implementation of Media Convert that really shows the power of transcoding in the cloud. And here's the best part. Uh, it's all with a click of a button and about 10 minutes to deploy. I'm not kidding. Uh, when you visit the project page uh, here on GitHub, you have to you have a link to launch the CloudFormation template uh, directly into your AWS console. And about 10 minutes later, you're up and running with an advanced machine learning product that you can extend and adapt for your business. Uh, let's run through the architecture real quick so you can get uh, the, see the scope and what you're getting out of the box and hopefully uh, get as excited as I am about what you can build. The uh, Vue.js app itself is pretty well architected with simple components, good code for managing scope, and simple communication patterns. The app's REST controllers for the API uh, that come with the product is very helpful, and I would definitely encourage you to adapt them for your products. The app communicates with the API gateway, which pulls data from DynamoDB and sends messages in simple queue service. These messages then trigger a very simple uh, just a handful of lines of code, lambda jobs, uh, which are orchestrated um, by step functions, and those interact with the machine learning APIs. Um, speaking of, for those of you who have not seen the machine learning APIs, let me take a brief moment to show you how simple this is. Anyone can do it. Uh, this is an example of the recognition celebrity detection service. Uh, it's simply just two commands. Uh, start, well, which just has you point to an asset stored in S3, and get, uh, which when the analysis is done, loads a really simple JSON result. Um, now, all the machine learning services are this simple, uh, and they, the JSON schemas returned are pretty consistently architected, so there's not a ton of time wasted learning new schemas. Uh, in this case, you have metadata about the asset here at the top, uh, data that you could then send to your media management system, for example. And below that, you have a timestamp uh, array of all the detection hits. And here we have the celebrity name, their IMDB profile link, hit confidence. The bounding box is commonly returned so you can do things like crop the detected image or store it as a thumbnail or index it for auditing. Uh, one use case I've run into a couple of times is creating a quick kind of audit feature to review ad placements. Now you can imagine running all the various machine learning APIs at one time can get overwhelming pretty quick. Uh, Media Insights Engine has a fantastic implementation of uh, step functions. Um, now step functions let you design and run workflows that stitch together services. Uh, such as Lambda and Fargate and SageMaker into like a single feature-rich application. Uh, workflows are made up of a series of steps uh, with the output of one step acting as the input to the next step. 
and they automatically trigger and track each step, retries them when there's errors. So your application executes them in order and has expected. But the best feature uh, for my work with developers is this, the visual state machine, um, which shows you the execution path, the state, and is placed right here above the logs uh, for easy debugging. Uh, moving on to the data layer of the architecture, as I said, all results are stored in DynamoDB and any asset renditions are stored to an S3 bucket. The CloudFormation template comes with a great example of Kinesis data streams. Uh, in this case, it sends real-time updates to the Elasticsearch service. And it is this Elasticsearch instance that feeds the search and browse features of the Vue.js app. So one example for, we made for our clients is an online video platform with Vue.js. In the platform, we have a suite of traditional video features, so a media repository, basic metadata, relationships to the program guide, et cetera. Um, in this case, we've added a section to show results from the essentially AWS Media Insights Engine architecture. Um, so here we have the center, our media results, and over here on the sidebar, uh, where the normal metadata is stored for media assets. We also have this additional section that shows some results uh, from recognition. Um, so here we have teams. Uh, teams were detected by custom labels that were trained with team logos. Um, and then the labels here. So we've established uh, that the ad breaks were there with the native functionality detecting scenes. Uh, and we incorporate label feedback from the labels API, uh, which is straight out recognition. So we build demos like this all the time to help customers understand what they can do. Each demo takes less than a day to create and truly helps our customers understand what they can do uh, and just how simple it is. In the future, I hope to see a lot of developers worldwide create their own demos that convince their own stakeholders to dive deeper into the rich services offered by AWS Machine Learning. So thank you for your time today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at my email, uh, tony at melitoad.com, uh, and our website is melitoad.com. Thank you very much.